divisive issue of abortion that we treat this seriously as a, as a nation. And what has happened in the last couple of weeks of the Planned Parenthood videos coming out is for the first time in a long time, this is not an invisible thing that's happening somewhere in secret. Now it is something that's actually happening where people can see it. And I think our culture for the first time in a while is having to slow down and deal with the reality of, is it possible that this culture has been wrong, that that really is a child? I talked last week to a friend of mine that his child was born a year ago at 14 ounces. 14 ounces was their birth weight. Born very, very premature. Their child is now 14 pounds a year later and doing extremely well. That 14 ounce child is a child that everyone sees now. But that 14 ounce child is exactly what Planned Parenthood was harvesting, was turning in the womb so they could crush the head and to be able to gather the organs to be able to sell. We as a culture have got to deal with this one simple reality. That child is important. And then I see my, uh, my colleague as well uh, from California that I think she would also like to be able to have a moment. Would you like to be able to speak a moment in our college? In our college yes, I was well. going to ask unanimous consent that following my friend from Louisiana, I'd be given two minutes. Could we just swap it and go straight to you right now? Would that be appropriate? Whatever you want. Let's do that now. Okay. Then we'll Senator. come to it. Then we, we have a unanimous consent for an ongoing call. Queen. I'd be glad to be able to have you join in this conversation. Okay. I want to thank my friend. Senator from California. I want to thank my friend for his generosity here. And I tell you, I really rather work with you on transportation. Um, you know, I gave birth to two premature kids, and I just don't like lectures by men about what it's like. And thank God they made it. I'm pro choice. And I just have to say, using pregnancy as a political football doesn't sit well with the people I represent and the people of this country. We have to respect one another. I respect your view entirely. I'm asking you to respect mine. Keep Uncle Sam out of my private life and my children's and my grandkids and yours. Families will make these decisions with their God, with their doctor.